who doesn't love to learn more about the universe? Often the most amazing or impactful discoveries are made while searching for something else entirely. There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we are dedicated to bringing you the most exciting and brain-stimulating stories. So without further ado, here is three interesting discoveries. Two strange blobs of X-ray energy are swirling out of the galaxy's center. Giant floating blobs are not the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about space, but scientists seem to be pondering a lot recently. Specifically, they are trying to learn more about two strange orbs at the heart of the Milky Way. But before we get into that, we need to first learn a bit about our galaxy's history. Over millions of years in the past, our galaxy was host to a gigantic explosion. This giant expulsion of energy is believed to have sent two identical shockwaves across space itself. These two waves shot all the way over the Milky Way, heating up massive amounts of space material as they did so. It is this event that has caused two giant orbs of hot gamma rays floating in space. Energized by the waves from millions of years ago, these blobs are still visible to us today. The blobs are known as the Fermi Bubbles and stretch nearly half the width of the Milky Way. One of the bubbles hovers a massive 25,000 light-years over the Milky Way's disk, and the other does the same beneath it. They were first discovered in 2010, but up until recently, we have known relatively little about them. Continued research has only brought up more questions about the Fermi Bubbles. Structures within the bubbles, such as chimneys of plasma and balloons of radio energy, have been spotted using wavelength technology. One of the latest discoveries of other Fermi bubble-like structures are the E-Rosita bubbles. These structures are only visible through X-rays. They are much colder than the Fermi bubbles, but they are nearly the same size, measuring about 45,000 light-years in length. They also share the same displacement pattern as the Fermi bubbles with them towering above and below the galaxy in a specific shape. Because of their similarities, it is believed that the Fermi and E. Rosita bubbles share a common originator, and even a physical relationship. It is likely they both emerged from the huge explosion mentioned earlier. But what astronomers are still questioning is what caused the explosion in the first place. One theory is that it may have been something to do with an energetic outburst by the Milky Way's giant black hole, Sagittarius A star. Scientists discover rare asteroid that will follow Earth in orbit for the next 4,000 years. There are millions, if not billions, of asteroids potentially whizzing around in space. Scientists who discover these travelling lumps of rock have plenty of examples to study and learn from. But it is not every day that something truly special shows up. In this case, it is what's known as an Earth Trojan asteroid, which is a small piece of space rock that has the same orbit as Earth. A study only recently published announced that researchers had proven the asteroid's existence and also stated that the rock will be following Earth's orbit for at least another several thousand years. A team of astronomers from the Institute of Cosmos Sciences of the University of Barcelona proudly declared their discovery of 2020 XL5, the second Earth Trojan ever confirmed, after 10 years of tireless searching. 2020 XL5 is believed to be around 0.7 miles in diameter. For context, the first Earth Trojan 2010 TK7 was 0.2 miles in diameter. The size is important in Earth Trojan asteroids, as the sweet spot allows the rock to balance within Earth's orbit around the Sun. Trojan asteroids are nothing new. For decades, we have been aware of Trojans on Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune though Earth ones have proven to be more elusive. There have been many previous attempts to find Earth Trojans. Tony Santana Ross, one of the authors of the new publication, said to press, all the dedicated efforts had so far failed to discover any new members of this population. Spotting Earth Trojans is surprisingly difficult. Because of their distance to the Sun, the window of opportunity to spot them is very small. It is only around sunrise that we can try to catch a glimpse of them. However, 
Scientists have got around this by utilizing huge telescopes in Arizona and Cerro Pachon in Chile to photograph the asteroids. Scientists are interested in Trojans mostly due to their age, as many of them were around during the earliest stages of the solar system. They are effectively time capsules of the conditions for that time. In fact, NASA's Lucy mission, which launched in October 2021, is set to visit eight different Trojan asteroids in the next 12 years. The University of Utah Discover New Black Hole Researchers from the University of Utah have recently been able to confirm the existence of intermediate mass black holes. These bodies have been sought after for a long time and are key in understanding the formation of galaxies. Speaking of the discovery, Anil Seth, a co-author of the discovery and professor of physics, said, This is an important step in understanding the process of galaxy assembly. The process of how we got from the Big Bang to having a sun with a planet around it in a galaxy like the Milky Way. We're seeing the fossils of that type of assembly here, and that's what makes it exciting. The discovered black hole is named B023G078, and it's shown researchers more about what happens when two galaxies collide. The black hole is what scientists called a stripped nuclei. This is created when a smaller galaxy is swallowed by a larger one. The smaller galaxy becomes very dense and starts to orbit the bigger one. The discovery has helped researchers understand the key relationship between black holes and stars, and their responsibilities in galaxy formation. There are two different types of black holes that we know about in the universe. There's the ones that are formed when stars blow up at supernovae and leave behind a mass similar to the mass of our Sun. Then there's these really massive black holes we find at the centers of galaxies, and they're typically more than a million times the mass of the Sun, explained Seth. The most exciting result is that this black hole is in the gap between them. And that is most likely telling us that it was the center of a galaxy, which is also shown because of the wide variations of elements within the star cluster, Seth added. The hole was discovered in the galaxy Andromeda, over 2.5 million light-years away, with data gleaned from the Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini Observatory at Mauna Kea in Hawaii. As well as having 8.1-meter diameter mirrors, the Gemini Observatory Telescope also has what is known as Laser Guide Star Adaptive Optics. This technology corrects for any interference caused by the atmosphere. The discovery has been over 10 years in the making, as co-author Seth originally submitted a proposal to search for the black hole around 2012. It took four years just to have the submission approved, and roughly another six for any results to be found. It just goes to show that traveling across space is not the only slow process. Studying it takes a lot of time too. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.